three wins and you are in the grand finals but only one of these two players will make it loser will get third place and we are going to the dragon's nest Eddie get players ready get ready <laughs> oh yeah he almost got to touch the floor man because that's when he's about to get crazy he's gonna start <laughs> break dancing nice counter hit down forward three to up three <laughs> he's just checking the surface he's like oh yeah i can break dance on this yep i could do it on this <laughs> Like, oh, can I backdash on this? Yup. Let's go. <laughs> like, you said nope. that, and I was, in my head, I was thinking I'll break dance. I was like, can I do flares? So I'm like, oh, yeah, no, he's, <laughs> he's going to backdash. You know? Oh, yeah. I mean, look at that shuffle. He's just going, dude, he is. This looks like, is, is this game broken? What's happening? <laughs> he's tight. dancing all over the place. Oh, my. Did you see that? That was crazy. What a down four, three plus four. If that was Eddie. Oh, oh, he dropped oh, the ender. Oh, 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 okay, never mind. He's good. He's good. Yeah. Uh, I feel like Round Callum. Two. It's confident in the matchup. The way he's moving, it's like he's he's been there, done that. Yeah, and that that desperation hop kick from DVK at the end didn't really give do him any favors, right? In the back here, what are you gonna do? Oh my gosh, I don't yeah, think he was ready for that. Exactly, I was gonna say against these characters that have these weird sprint kicks, would they end up back turn to you if you block it? You got to be ready to like destroy them, right? Take like fifty percent of health because you can get a full yeah. launch on them. Bro, Callum looks so prepared for this okay never mind <laughs> yeah. as soon as i said that man it's the curse thing that they talk about that commentator's curse mm -hmm. rick's the claims it's not real <laughs> uh i i think it's different too especially when if you do commentary but you also play like oh, i don't know really? how you feel do because like your curse the curse that you did to feed the extra something is kind of real <laughs> I, I even I heard about that. I wasn't the even watching that. The worst part about that one was that like I felt like I cursed him as soon as I said it. I was like, oh boy, uh oh. <laughs> Why did I, I say it's... that? Why did I say that? All right, here we go. Oh, He's gonna keep boy. him there. DVK has a huge life lead here, and then Callum right now he, he can't really backdash too much. He has the wall right behind him. Mm -hmm. But he's got that rage. Oh, that's oh, it. That's okay. it. That's it. I, we haven't seen that sweep yet so far in the competition. So right now, DVK pulling off to the lead. Callum, what you gonna do? That was actually such a risky choice when you think about it, right? Like yeah, that sweep there, you had big life leap. Why would you risk yeah. that? He could have got launched. And you know, this is, again, depending on the different players in different regions, we see a different type of tone of the match and a different type of pacing. Uh, more often than not, we've seen a lot of lows at the end of rounds. We we see ankles yeah. getting hurt. And some plus low parries and low ducks. Yeah. Here we go. Nice punish there with the jabs. Man, Callum is just in and out. We in and out of traffic. And he hit him with that big launch. The follow up here. He's going to get the wall of the back two, three, three. One more hit to close it out. Rage drive. Takes his turn back. See what he does. This is important. Got to watch out. Time's a wasting. Oh my God. That was so sick. And just because of that, he is going to win the match. What a hop kick. That was impressive. That is a oh, yeah. beautifully placed top kick right there. That's what I like to see. Very nicely done. DVK getting it done the first game with Miguel here. Slow and easy kick. is the way I want a hop kick tonight. Mm. Mm. That was good stuff. Good hop kick. And just like that, first match. Again, this is a race to three. Yep. Still not over by a long shot, but I feel like Callum, the way he was kind of playing and moving, he was in cruise control for a long time. But again, clutching it out is another thing. Exactly. He felt com he felt comfortable with the way he was moving in and out, but it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough, and, and that's the thing is like sometimes you got to play, uh, and like yeah, backdashing. See, backdashing is good, right? Mm -hmm. You know what, what what's the bad thing about backdashing? Hmm. It doesn't do damage. That's very true. No damage. It doesn't do damage until you get a whiff punish, right? And he, he yeah, you got to get those. the whiff punish, which which he has shown that he can do. He can do it, right? But uh, again, it, it just part of the puzzle. Yeah, the other thing I, I really like about his backdash is it seems like a lot of his opponents, they get really flustered by it. Like, <laughs> they're like, dude, he's not doing anything. I have to go do something. You know, and they come in and they they, they just put too much on the line. These boom, counter it down for two, you know? So oh, yeah. I feel like that's a big deal here. You got to be patient uh, when you go against an Eddie player that's just backdashing all day. Don't give him that opportunity because you know they're waiting for it. Yeah, that's one of the strengths, though, I feel like for Eddie as well. is like sometimes you want to frustrate your opponent kind of annoy them and then have them kind of go for their bigger longer advancing attacks but that's like prime real estate for you to throw out the counter hit down forward to throw out the counter hit back three three it's uh it kind of fits in with the play style and as a player you have to kind of like buckle down and like not fall for it have that patience but anyways we are going to violet systems this is one of the longer stages at least on one side uh and we'll see how it plays out here 
Yeah, definitely one of my favorite stages. It's the combots for me. Did the combots do it? Yeah, this is the combots. I mean, you you think about it. Combot Mokujin, man. I don't know, man. Combot and Mokujin. <laughs> that, that's a that's a tough one. Mokujin's Mokujin's in the game. He's like a, a an item that you could add on to characters. Oh please. <laughs> <laughs> he's also a character panel. He's in there. I think yeah, I think that is my current uh, character panel actually. <laughs> there you go. Calum off the good lead here, game two, round one. Mm -hmm. Keep it solid. Nice. Nice go for the side step three plus four. Unable to get anything out of it. Callum was looking really good, obviously, with a little bit more room to work here, but still has the benefit of walls. Let's see what he does. Nice up forward four. And this is something that we haven't really seen from him in the spacing game so far. The up forward four has a little bit better range than some of the other pokes that he's been using. Mm -hmm. But again, he has to be kind of aware just on, how, on on its use. Nice side step four. Yeah, Eddie doesn't really have the best lows. He has a lot of them. I'll say that. He has a lot of lows. A lot of scary lows, but not the best lows when it comes to like breaking down your opponent. Yeah, they're just more for the noise, but look at the punish there. That wall standing one. Alright, good knockdown there from DBK. He still got the life lead here in time. Still plenty. I like Don't the way he sights it. Readjusting. This is gonna hurt. Not gonna kill, but one more sequence could do it. DBK, he has the rage drive. If he gets that low. Oh. Wow. I didn't expect that. That came out of nowhere. That was nice. Uh, but Callum, good defense, holds on. Boots! And he's gonna what get the wall to too. What's he gonna do here? Oh, oh yes. the splat. Oh, Damn yes! Uh-huh, the follow-up here that gets the head noggin. Hit him with the diddy bop. What's he gonna do? That pressure, but he went for the power crush with no life? Mm -mm. Yeah, bad oh, choice. Oh, man. Maybe he got too much of a of a flow there, uh, just what he's used to. Because I mean, it's a great move to use by the wall, right? But you need right. to have life. That's the yeah. the the weakness of the power crushes. Yes, it can go through moves, but it also still takes life. Exactly. Uh, but Callum answering back there with the Eddie. Uh, yeah, kind of expected it. You know, I honestly thought the way the first game was going that Callum was going to get that one as well, right? So uh, the fact that he even up here, not unexpected, but. Uh, we'll see how this whole set plays out. I'm really curious because it's first and three. It's a long set. There's yep. still a chance that DVK could switch characters here. Uh, but I think so far the Miguel is working out. What do you think went wrong for him in that second game? It just, I, I think it was a combination of things. It's he got impatient. And, you know, a lot of what we saw in the first game, you know, he, he clutched it out and his clutch was not present at all yeah. there. And he just put himself in a lot of situations where it was interesting because, you know, like, Eddie's back was to the wall a lot of the time, right? Mm -hmm. Because of whether it was back dashing or just combo spacing or whatever. But he didn't attack. He didn't get in. And one of the things that we saw early on is he went for a lot of those lows. And this time, obviously getting blocked, getting launched with the wall, sending 1-3. I feel like it's a matter of timing and also using the threatening mids by the wall. Because, you know, Miguel has a ton of mids that could wall splat as well. He has a, a, a very good, I think, arsenal of mid attacks that can be very threatening. But it's all about using him. I mean, he hasn't. I mean, if you think about it, he hasn't been using a lot of moves at all. Yeah, he's been trying to play the same kind of patient gameplay, but uh, doing the same thing like that against Eddie when he's got such a better backdash, uh, you know, it's, it's a hard game to play for sure. And I think Miguel definitely excels at a closer range game. So, you know, closing in on Eddie is going to be one of the question marks. And as you mentioned, if Eddie's going to be backdashing all day, he's going to hit the wall. This stage here, a little bit larger, a lot more angles to work with, uh, which could help in helping Eddie screw up his rage art and make him go the wrong direction. We'll see if that comes into play. Maybe it will. Maybe it will. We'll see. Anyways, they're going to go right into it. Tied up one apiece right now. Again, a longer set. A race to three between these two. We're in the Forbidden Temple Grounds here as these players battle it out. And I like what I'm seeing here. So right now, Callum is kind of actually fighting up close. He does have a slight life lead, but now DVK starting to open him up. There's a running boot to the face. Yeah, chop those ankles. Boots! The power crush! I got plenty of help this time. Yeah, made it count. And right now, DVK taking that first round. I like what I'm seeing, too, because he's also using the throws to kind of pressure. And we saw early on, oh my oh gosh, no. he hop kicked. That, that was the right thing to do, but it wasn't close enough. Does uh, Miguel's hop kick hit there on relax? It, it, it can't hit and relax, okay. but it, you have to be close enough. Closer, right. Yeah. 
Oh, here we go. Interesting. Goes for that load. Just get some damage. Yeah, this up, up close game, man. Ever the aggressor right now, man. It's been paying off so far. There's low, the follow-up here, into the mid attack. DVK is it, taking control right now. This is the way he needed to play back then. Like, you can't backdash with the, when the wall's there. What are you going to do? Mm -hmm. nice. nice. That was a good block. I mean, it could have been a bad punish right there, too. Yep. Oh, no. Yeah, and you know, that, he knew he was going to end up right in front of him, but still late there. And now Callum, good life lead here. Down two rounds, but you can't count him out. We saw the crazy stats he had earlier. Oh, my oh, gosh. Everything's hitting. The block of oh, the launch. He's dead. He's Ray dead. Dart. Yes, yeah, keep the hurt. combo short. Do the rage out early so you get less scaling on it. Should be enough damage to kill him. Boom! There's the round for Callum. Hey, can I uh, interest you in some cutscene? Would you like cut to watch? Scene? I love some. <laughs> Give me more. Right. Power. Oh, you went for the power crush. Good stuff. I mean, you have to go for a faster move if you want to get the float there. The power crush can activate pretty fast from handset position. Uh huh. Here we go. Oh, yeah, running. He hasn't used either, right? The three two. Yeah, which I think is a great tool overall. Yeah. Gotta test your opponents. Here's the follow-up. DVK again. Has the wall positioning. Oh! Nice. Forward, 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 follow-up. Oof. Oh, he's getting confidence right now. Goes with the grab. Get Looking to close it out. out of here. Yo, look at that. Very dominant round. The aggression yeah. is really what took him over. It's a... Kind of take control of the matchup, and just like that, Callum is in trouble. I gotta say it straight up right now before we get into the next match. Callum cannot play like that. I don't know what the difference is here, other than maybe the aggression from DVK, but Callum really needs to start fighting back, and there's a lot of tools where he can do so. I feel like using Eddie's jabs is key for that. He needs he's to start using happen. the jabs. Yeah. yeah right now, like DVK, he's getting in, right? Like in mm -hmm. the previous games, you know, he was playing the range game. He's trying to play that game with Eddie, but obviously that that's where Eddie wants to play at, right? Yep. Uh, where Miguel wants to play at, he wants to be in your face. And I think Cal, I think that DVK did a much better job of staying close to Cal that entire game there. Uh, and anytime you run up, he's like, I just need to run up and do like a down forward one. Uh, you know, and you saw a couple of rounds end that way uh, because he's he's opening up with these lows now too. So you know, you really got Cal guessing here. And I, I totally agree with you. I think the jabs need to come out as like a keep out tool. You know, even if it's just like the down forward one one or just the one two, uh, whichever one it may be, right? Uh, he's done a good job of like size step four to keep out. Uh, you know, th those kind of keep tools are working, but I feel like he wasn't doing enough keep out tools. Uh, size step four yeah. might be good too because you know, as a keep out tool, if he gets hop kicked or something, it's not really gonna be too much damage because he might not be a full float. That's true. It's all about the range and how you kind of utilize things. But we're in open stage, and Callum decides to go for the infinite azure. But oh, yeah. you know, you know yeah. that is. I mean, it's it's purely for backing up. Oh yeah. Let's see if he can force that gameplay on DVK and keep him out this time. That's gonna be the question mark because that was the difference in game three. But DVK up two games to one here. Just needs one more to go to the grand finals to get his run back. Let's see if he Girl, can do it. Girl, you look good. Why don't you back that dash up? <laughs> back that dash up. Yup. Here we go. <laughs> Start it off. Oh, counter hit down forward too. He was waiting for that opportunity. This time getting the big launch, the follow-up. Now he can run. Sometimes I run. Oh, counter hit. Oh my gosh, going back the other way. Oh, he lost it. What's he going to do? The follow-up here. Has a good opportunity. Again, he does have a slight life lead. Mm -hmm. Let's see what he does with it. And yeah, he's fishing for that down for two. Oh, right. he's trying three, to keep out. That three two is working, man. He's he's mm -hmm. gotten it to work quite a bit so far. Beautiful. He caught him so off guard with that relaxed approach. That DVK totally froze. Take nice. his trade all day. Ran up and killed him. Here we go. The follow -up. one round. Callum looking really good. Obviously, the open stage definitely helping his game plan. Oh, that didn't hit. Good block. Wow. Oh, Superman. Yeah, that Superman punch from him has been working out, actually. It's been a really good approach to get over the side step four. Oh my gosh, stringing him. How did he miss? I don't know. Power, get that power out. He'll do him enough damage to kill you. Here we go. Tied up on rounds. This is big because, you know, DVK, if he's able to take this match, it's all over, and Callum will be out of the tournament. But Callum, he's still moving with that confidence. Ooh. Beautiful. 
That was sick. That was actually so sick. He he let DVK think that they were playing a close range game when he was like, I'm gonna slow back dash away here. Boom, boom, Mirage. Yeah. It's all about creating that space up close. Cause you know, it's one thing to go back, but it's another thing to go back and then wait for the whiff punish. Oh, what is going on? TVK, don't drop it like they, oh, good block. He, he's gonna be, is he dead? I think he's dead. I think he is. No! Oh, he, that didn't hit. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Usually it's guaranteed. Time to clutch it out. Good stuff. Good stuff from Callum. Round four. That's a long leg. Fight. Standing four, able to close it out here. Callum looking for an opportunity. He caught him ducking there. He flashed ducked like 14 times. I, I love that Callum did that, right? Just to see what he would do. Make him think about it. Yeah. Man, I would while standing 1-3 all day if that's all he did to me. Mm -hmm. Just that little low kick. That's it. Yeah, yeah. That's all. I'll do it. I'm again. down. He's fishing. Uh-oh, the lows are coming out. You know, he blocks that. He might get that nice punish, though. DVK has to be careful here. Try to catch him. Time's a waste in. Nice. nice. I was finally... just going to say, he's, got, he's had so much trouble approaching this, this game. DVK has. Yeah, he finally got him in a break. But right when he did, he hit that counter hit down forward, too. He's going to have to be careful again, because right now he's approaching. Callum might do it again. In nine seconds, rage mode, drive span, poke to keep out. He's gonna backdash all day. Backdash Yo, all day. Oh, look at that. We're going to a final match. We're going to a final match. Of course we are. Callum likes to keep things interesting like this, dude. We saw a set earlier with Big Daddy Mike that went down to the wire. Now this one going down as well. Final game incoming here. Oh, yeah. Anyone's game, to be honest. I, I think, you know, that game, obviously, DBK had a much harder time getting in. Uh, you know, Callum did a much better job of playing the keep out game. Uh, the down four twos were there. You know, the size of fours were there. Uh, the slow back dash I really liked uh, early, which I talked about. Right, slow back dash, let him whiff and get the mirage for the whiff punish. Like that's I think optimal Eddie play. When you're getting the mirage whiff punish on everybody, that's when you really make it a pay right. You're taking off like 35, 40 percent instead of just like little pokes every time. Uh, so oh, we'll, yeah. we'll see if he can keep that going. But DVK right now, he's got to find a way in. He like he did a good job of that in game three, but. Obviously, game four, the keep out game was better. So this has been really back and forth. You know, the, the, the counter play is coming through, which is exactly what we saw earlier from Callum. So this is really cool. All right. So we're going to uh, another pivotal match. This is important this is for all the marbles. One mm -hmm. of these two players will move on. One will be out of the tournament in third place. Any any thoughts here? I'm not going to ask who your favorite is, but do, who do you think? I mean, based on the momentum and what we've seen so far, any thoughts on, on what's going to happen in the match? DV, DVK has kind of been letting it go. I think he's that questioning himself. The thing is, it's been very back and forth the whole way. Oh, so yeah. I feel like, you know, either Callum's figured it out now, download's complete, or DVK is going to make bring this back and Callum's not going to give up and then we're going to final, final round. So it's either going to be like a beatdown or final, final round. That's my call. Here we go. DVK. This is where it's all going to go down. Oh, yes. The last match between these two, and I, I feel like, again, sometimes when you play these longer sets, there's going to be some wear. Like, you're going to eventually kind of break. I mean, it gets frustrating. I mean, if you're chasing Eddie the entire time, and that's kind of what happened in the last match, mm -hmm. you're going to get frustrated, and you're going to start playing differently. So Callum actually kind of betting, oh my god, he caught him with the relax, double relax in his face, and caught him looking. That's one of the Callum specials, man. And the up forward four, they're working out. Rage mode oh. now. DVK, do you have anything? No, sir. Ghost with the down forward one, two. Callum, solid life lead there. To close out round one. Yeah, that was strong. Here's mm -hmm. the follow-up again, man. I would do that all day. Running three this time. Callum is playing offensively. He's trying to really throw off DVK. It's working. He is actually attacking, but a big counter hit there from DVK. Super kind of made? put a stop. Uh-huh. See what he does here. Oh, oh that's that could have been launched. Doesn't matter. You punish. Nice. That 442 able to close things out. One round apiece here again. Yep. These guys are going back and forth. It's gonna happen. You think so? Yep. The FFR is gonna happen. You know it. Man, I don't know if it's jinxing or blessing. <laughs> it's always a blessing for us viewing it. <laughs> oh, he caught him ducking. 
Then down three to three. Able to get that launch here and pushing at the wall. No, no launch punish, punish at all. Punishable. He got nothing though. Like not even anything. Yeah, he has to try. He has to at least attempt it because right now Ca Callum knows that he can do that. He's going to get away yeah. with it. Big. Oh, and a big punish. This is unfortunate for DBK. He let that one go. He could have taken that momentum even further. And just like that, Callum one round away for moving on to grand finals. And again, 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 what are you looking at? Face? I'm scared, man. It might be a mid. Lava toes. The lava toes? Yeah, we gotta watch out. There's yep. lava. Oh. Callum. We both, we both have light colored pants. Can we come to a truce? Right now, the only truce. Oh, wait. Looking all Callum right now. DBK trying to approach. Tournament life on the line here. He's in rage now. Out. The drive. Oh, he caught him. This is this is big because it could be a lot of damage. Let's see what he ends up finishing it with. What's the mix? Oh, oh boy! How did he backdash that? That was crazy. I don't know. I don't nice. know. No big low. Oh. Where was it? Oh, oh, but he got him trying to come in again. Callum holds on and eliminates DVK from the tournament. Three to two. Nicely done. Nicely done. Congratulations to both of you. But of course, it, that means. Callum will be advancing to the grand finals. And we have a rematch of our winner semis from earlier today. It's going to be uh, Big Daddy Mike versus Callum. And I'm excited to see that because they had a crazy set early on. Definitely. Definitely. Let's take a look back.